Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Adam and Orange where I build a lot of 3D metal models and show you how I do it. Today on the table, another Legends model, Iron Man. And normally this is the part where I show you an unopened model instead of a completed one, but funny story, this is one that I bought several months back with the intention of building fairly soon. I recorded an open video and I kind of forgot about it and opened it up and started to build it. But then I got very fortunate. Fascinations contacted me, or I contacted them. I ended up with an agreement with them, and they sent me several more Legends models to review, as well as other people sent me models to review, and I had several viewer requests. Those things took priority because why am I not? Why am I doing this YouTube channel if not to help other people out, and to showcase other things, and to build other models to help others? So if someone's going to give me something to build, I'm going to put that as a priority. And this got pushed to the end. So now that I'm actually finished building this model and getting ready to conclude the video, I'm like, wait a minute, my beard is longer, my hair is different, and the background is completely different. I need to redo the opening video. So, without a whole lot more talking, let's get into the actual packaging of this. It's another Legends model. This is the older style, so if you're building Iron Man and during this build you see that the legs look differently than what I've got, you may have one of the newer styles. Because since purchasing this model, they came out with the Guardians of the Galaxy ones with a newer design for the way the legs come together. And they apparently retroactively redid some of the previous Legends models within that new design. So if you find out your design is a little bit different than mine, you might want to check out one of the Guardians of the Galaxy builds to see an idea how those legs come together. They are easier than this. This is a little bit more challenging, but still not that very difficult. Anyway, let's open this up, see what's inside and put together Iron Man. Iron Man! This ought to be pretty straightforward. If you built any of these Legends models, you probably have an idea how this goes. Every one colored sheet, and this is an older style, so it's a very glossy colored sheet. If you find that your sheet looks a little different, you may have one of the newer models because they did do a redesign and the lakes come together differently, you might want to check out one of the Guardians of the Galaxy videos to get an idea of how to do the legs. But I will just open the instructions up halfway, go over them very quickly. In case you've never done one of these before, you've got page one, which is basically the top left quarter. You've got a line drawing of the model. You've got a drawing of the sheet that has the parts listed numbered out so that you can find them on the sheet. You've got a sample part which I think is the back of his head with a notation about fold lines which are pre-scored areas to fold things, insertion holes, insertion tabs, tabs go in holes, and a little notation here about when you see a blue circle into a connection point it means to insert a tab in the hole, fold it over 90 degrees, green triangle means to insert the tab in the hole and twist, a lot of times the outer tabs are folded, the inner tabs are twisted. Twisted tabs are more secure, but not as, not as clean looking. Then we have 360 view here. You can either scan this QR code with a tablet or phone, or you can just go to this web address to see 360 completed model uh, for reference. And then we have below that starting of the assembly flow chart with the left arm. We've got part one and part two. You fold that, you fold this, you add them together. Jump up to page two or this quarter and pick up folding that arm adding in part three just follow the arrows adding the parts folding and shaping things as you go and you get halfway you go down to the bottom quarter for page three continue following and then over to the page four the bottom right quarter and once you get once you follow this to the bottom you are finished with your bottom and there's some tips here as well. Now for these Legends models, hey, let's talk Let's talk a little bit about tools. For these Legends models, it's usually pretty simple. I have a couple of pliers, some flat nose, some long needle nose. I may or may not use these. I have some precision tweezers that I'll use mostly. And they, a couple of them have a very fine point. One of them I ground down a little. It's better for grabbing tabs. And then we have just the standard set of tweezers that come in the Iconics models. I have several of these. Or you could just pick up a pair of tweezers at a drugstore of some sort. And then we have clippers for clipping parts cleanly off of the sheets. It's better than twisting and trying to break them off. It comes off cleaner and faster and less likely you'll break apart. 
and then some sort of small pin or dowel rod because usually the shoulder areas you need to do a little bit of curving but beyond that usually some tweezers and clippers maybe all you need well that's enough to get us started we've got the sheets and instructions at the ready let's put this together It took a few tries to get this tab connected and bent over. The parts kept wanting to shift out of place. This model is of the original Legends design. The legs are a little confusing looking. You don't have to get the initial shape just right the first try. Bend the leg size similar to what I have done, and as you assemble the rest of the model, the way you need to shape the angles will become more clear, and you can adjust. 
If you find that your model assembles a little different than this, you might have one of the newer designs. You can check out one of the Guardians of the Galaxy Legends builds to see how those designs come together. Sometimes I twist lightly to hold things together until I can get more of the model assembled. Then I will come back and untwist and fold over those tabs. I got a little ahead of myself here.
Now that Iron Man is all together, time to go around securing all the bent over tabs and untwisting the lightly twisted tabs and bending them over. And I present to you, you've kind of already seen it in the beginning, Iron Man, finished and complete. His hand and arm is very much different from the other Legend models that I built. Well, I say very much, I mean it's still the same basic shape, but it constructed very differently because of the way he's got his hand out flat like that. So that was a little bit of a challenge right there, different challenge, but otherwise... The way this Iron Man Legends model constructs is very much like any of the other first generation Legends models that they've come out with. Uh, the, the body and the head and the, the legs. Pretty much exactly the same. This arm is very different, which of course, you know, all of them have different poses and different arms. And Hulk has different feet and some of them have hair. So those are minor differences, but his minor differences... A little bit more than minor, just the way this arm comes together. Otherwise, it's very much the same. Still, though, these are fairly easy builds, these Legends models. Fairly easy and quick builds to give yourself a little collectible figure that you made yourself to add to your collection. Kind of neat. A little bit more interesting than, say, I don't know, some final character that you can buy and just put on a shelf. This, you build. You put a little bit of your own time into, a little bit of your own creativity, your own skill to make this and put it on your shelf. So I kind of like this a little bit better than just buying a standard figure. Kind of neat little adventure, little craft time, something you can do with, with friends or family or young ones. Fun, not too difficult, somewhat challenging, but fairly easy and quick models to build. This guy, Iron Man, took me about 25 minutes to put together. So again, not a very long build, doesn't take two or three hours like many of the other Metal Earth builds. So this is a good, fun, quick little collectible figure to make. All of the Legends models are pretty much that way. And something that you can get yourself one, get your son or daughter or sister or brother, father, mother, who's also into DC or Marvel, you can get them a model to put together as well and do it together. So fun little quick build. I'm liking these Legends models. Almost got all of the originals. Generation 1's done. I think I've got, let's see, Captain America and somebody else to do. I have to think about that. But there's more stuff coming out soon. So I best, guess I better hurry up. I'll leave it at that. If you have any questions or comments, as always, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And keep on keeping on.